everyone, welcome back to another video with Arduino. So you may look at this and think, oh, are we doing another simple LED project? But if, let's see, I turn off this light, the LED lights up. So today this is what's called a photoresistor and it's able to detect the brightness and it responds accordingly. And in simple terms, this is basically a night light that is responsive to the environment. So this is what we're going to be building and now let's dive in. All right, so basically before we get into the wiring diagram, I thought it'd be helpful to explain kind of what this is, um, a photoresistor and how it's important to our project. So a photoresistor is basically just a, a tiny sensor that um, can tell how bright or dark it is. So when there's a lot of light, it becomes kind of like an easy road for electricity. A lot can pass through. Um, whereas when it's dark, there's more resistance, less electricity passes through when it's dark. So with the Arduino, we know we can measure how much electricity passes through the photoresistor and basically the brighter it is the less resistance there is so it the electricity passes through more and the darker it, darker it is the more resistance there is so there's less electricity so when we connect the photoresistor to the arduino the arduino can see how much light there is by checking the electricity that has passed through the photoresistor remember we said that more electricity passing through means that there's a lot of light and when there's less electricity that means it's dark so basically the arduino knows this thinks about it and then it responds accordingly by turning on the light or turning it off. All right, so here's the wiring diagram. I just wanted to point a few things out. So obviously you see here we have two LEDs. This is definitely not the case. This is supposed to be a photoresistor. That's what you saw in, in the clip that I'm showing right now. Um, the thing with the photoresistor is that for mine, it has two uh, pins um, that I can connect. Um, whereas the one on Walkwee looks something like this, if I search up photoresistor. So, it's our photoresistor sensor, which looks a bit strange and not exactly how I have it on my, um, in my kit. So, for just to make do, um, this is what's going to be representative, representative of a photoresistor. Um, all the other connections um, are pretty self-explanatory. You have um, your wires to the two resistors. And then also I want you to keep in mind that for this part with the LED, you can see right here, um, I want you to notice that this longer part, this is the longer or positive side of the LED. It is supposed to be connected to this um, resistor. The e end of this resistor should connect to the long side or the positive side of the LED and the short side should be or the negative side should be connected to the ground. Um, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. You have your two wires connecting to your LED and then also to your resistor. But besides that, now let's look at the code. So here's our code. You can see our two initialization statements. Um, this is the first one that's connected to the LED, pin 13 that we discussed previously. And this basically just says, tells the computer that if we ever wanna access the LED, that will be connected to pin 13. We have the LDR pin, which is the, the photoresistor, and that's connected to pin A0. And this is where it's gonna get all its information from the resistor. So we have serial that begin 9,600. This ensures serial communication. If we want to add the serial monitor, we have pin mode um, for both as either in output or input. Um, an LED would be output since we're outputting light or a voltage. And then input, we would be taking in information from the photoresistor. We have a loop. We go into this area. So we have our LDR status. So we're going to read um, the voltage, just like we talked about in the beginning of the in the beginning of our video, um, we're gonna re we're gonna take in the voltage and we're gonna analyze um, the the value and we're gonna put that value and store it into LDR status. And this will basically just tell us um, how much electricity has passed through um, in terms of numbers. So we have a delay of one second, one thousand milliseconds, and then we have a conditional. So what we have here, LDR status, um, it's going to be representative of a number. And basically, the higher the number, the more light is being inputted. So a number like zero 
there's absolutely no light that the photoresistor is taking in. That's why we use this condi this specific conditional. This basically says if it's less than or equal to 50. And from what I've tried, um, above 50 is normally the um, is normally the value if there's a ton of light shining. So keeping the LDR status under or equal to 50, that ensures that the area is actually dark. Like there's no light um, shining on the photoresistor. So if it's dark, then obviously we want to turn the light on because that's how a um, night light works, right? If it's dark, we want to turn the light on since we need it. So if it's less than or equal to 50, we're going to LED pin high, which basically means turn on the light. And um, we want to print that the LED is on to our serial monitor over here. I'll show, I'll demonstrate what the serial monitor looks like in real time action um, after this after this section. Um, and we also want to print um, the value for LDR status. And if the LED is on, the value should stay under 50. And then if that's not the case, obviously that means that there's light shining on it or there's a light somewhere that base if in that case we want to make sure that the LED is off because that basically tells the computer, oh, there's there's light in the room. We don't want to turn on the LED. So we have LED pin low, basically turns off the LED, and then we display we tell the serial monitor to print off because to tell the user that the LED is off and then we tell them what the value is and this LDR status if it ever gets to this section of the code it should be greater than 50. Also I wanted to mention one thing so you see this value of 50 right here um, 50 for me was the value the photoresistor was registering without any light so you can see right now this is within the 80 range so I wouldn't make this value 100 right because i have my light right my light on right now and i don't want the device to detect to turn on the led when i have my light on so technically it will depend on your situation um if you if you turn off the light and you're getting a value the photoresistor is registering a value of 20 or 30 you want to make sure that this value is probably even lower to like 40 so that um, your photoresistor accurately detects if your light is on or off. Here we just have a quick demo for you to see the lights and the serial monitor in action. Notice how every single time when it says the LDR is dark or that value is under 50, the light will, the LED will turn on and when it's over 50, that is when the light, the LED will turn off. All right, well, that's going to be it for today's video. I know this is a little bit different. I'm um, doing the outro in the dark, but um, I really hope you learned something. Make sure to like and subscribe or leave any comments if you have any. Um, we learned about the photoresistor, how it uses um, voltage in order to determine if a light, if there is light or not, and how we can use it to create a responsive um, night light. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.